Asia is at a pivotal moment in its energy transition. As the region responsible for over half of global greenhouse gas emissions, how individual countries navigate this challenge will define the future of global climate action. In this video, we explore the energy journeys of key nations in Asia, highlighting their progress, challenges, and opportunities for a cleaner, more sustainable future. China, Vietnam, and India are at the forefront of Asia's renewable energy transition. China contributes nearly half of the world's solar and wind capacity, with massive government investments driving large-scale projects. However, coal continues to play a significant role in the energy mix, especially in heavy industries. Vietnam's renewable share has surged thanks to strong incentives, with non-hydro renewables expected to reach 19% of total electricity generation by 2026, up from 16% in 2023. Yet, fossil gas remains part of its energy strategy. India targets 509 gigawatt of non-fossil fuel capacity by 2030, making solar a priority. However, coal continues to dominate 70% of its power generation to meet growing energy demand. Indonesia, Bangladesh, and Malaysia face significant fossil fuel dependency. Indonesia, operating Southeast Asia's largest coal fleet with 45.6 gigawatt across 249 units, continues to expand its captive coal power capacity driven by industrial demand despite its vast potential for geothermal and solar energy development. Bangladesh, while exploring solar mini-grids and rooftop systems, generates just 2% of its electricity from renewables, remaining heavily reliant on coal and gas for over 90% of its energy needs. Malaysia has made strides with large-scale solar projects and aims for 40% renewables by 2035, but renewables currently account for just 19% of its electricity generation leaving coal and gas dominant in the energy mix. Japan and South Korea are focusing on emerging technologies, but face challenges. Japan prioritizes hydrogen, ammonia co-firing, and CCS yet coal, oil, and gas still account for around 85% of its energy supply. Critics argue these technologies delay proven solutions like wind and solar. South Korea is targeting significant renewable energy growth, planning to expand solar and wind capacity from 23 gigawatt in 2022 to 72 gigawatt by 2030. However, its reliance on fossil fuels remains substantial, with weak renewable energy targets and energy efficiency among the lowest in the OECD. The Philippines and Thailand grapple with energy distribution and fossil fuel reliance. The Philippines, heavily reliant on fossil fuels, derives just 3% of its electricity from solar and wind, far below global and RCN averages. Solar and geothermal show promise, but grid upgrades and distributed energy systems are vital for scaling clean energy. Thailand targets 51% renewable energy consumption by 2037, with solar and biomass at the forefront. However, natural gas still accounts for 68% of its energy mix, highlighting the need for accelerated investments in wind, solar, and grid flexibility. Asia shows a mix of progress and setbacks. China, India, and Vietnam are leading in renewables, but coal still dominates in Indonesia, Bangladesh, and parts of Southeast Asia. Japan and South Korea explore hydrogen and CCS though these face scrutiny. The future hinges on stronger policies, increased investments, and regional collaboration to accelerate clean energy and phase out fossil fuels. Asia's energy transition is pivotal to achieving global climate goals. While progress is underway, the region must prioritize proven renewable energy solutions like wind, solar, and energy storage. Moving away from fossil fuels is not just a necessity, it's an opportunity for economic growth, energy security, and a sustainable future.